we may be assured of his sensitivity and that he sees the beauty beneath. Just a few years ago, I took a group uh, down to the Red Sea from Israel into Egypt. And as we crossed the border from Israel into Egypt, that is down by the Sinai, it is the most barren, ugly place I can imagine on earth. Nevada is scenic compared, okay, (laughs) to that. And I remember looking around, nothing living, just rock down to the edge of the Red Sea, thinking, boy, whoever got assigned to create this part of the world failed Creation 101, because (laughs) it is really, really barren. Later that afternoon, I put the snorkeling gear on. Most people are amazed to know that some of the most beautiful snorkeling in the world is the Red Sea. And for the first time, six, eight inches under the water, was a world of beauty you rarely see anywhere. The corals and the fish and the colors of the water and the reflection was absolutely breathtaking. And as I'm looking at that, I can hear the Lord say to me, I did a pretty good job here, Mike. (laughs) Always remember this lesson and apply it to people not only to geography. There is often great beauty when we see as God sees.